still struggling sa magawa ng statement of the problem, this video is just for you. By the way, this is Professor Hagar. And if you're new to this channel, please do not forget to click like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos coming up. Okay well, guys, today we are going to discuss about kung paano isulat yung statement of the problem because a lot of you guys, as I was reading uh, some of the comments in the comment box marami sa inyong nagtatanong kung meron ba akong video about statement of the problem So, so today, uh, gagawa tayo ng statement of the problem and we are going to follow a certain pattern kasi tingin ko yung magiging madali para sa inyo na sundan So let us start Una, let us first learn about the different sections of the problem statement or the statement of the problem. So, in various templates, sa iba't ibang mga format ng paggawa ng search paper, tinatawag siyang problem statement or statement of the problem. So, first, kinakailangan, meron kang context. So, the context should be about yung pinaka-main context. Kung sakasakaling sa research natin ay Merong specific sections sa research paper natin na tinatawag na context, context and rational. So, we are going to select there the main context para isama natin sa problem statement or statement of the problem. And the next is, of course, we are going to state the main problem of the research as they are conducting the study. Meaning, uh, what is actually the research problem? So, that would be part of the statement of the problem. And also, we are to include the most significant contribution na magagawa o may co-contribute na ma-result natin sa ating research. And lastly, we need to also include research questions or maaari din namang research objectives. So again, it could be research questions or research objectives. So pwede din yung dalawa in case na may mga specific na objective na hindi masyadong nai-emphasize sa search question. So, by the way, yung context is about what is already known. So, ibig sabihin, uh, yung, as I say, locally, merong nangyari na, uh, by the way, context about circumstances that somewhat lead you to undertake or to investigate a certain issue. Yun yung context. So, what is already known. So, by the way, later on, I will show you some of the examples for each of the sections of their problem statement. And we have also, also what researchers want to know. Siyempre, yun yung problem. And then the significance, how important are the results? This, these are the guide questions. Yung papan natin gagawin per sections of the problem statement. And we have, we have research questions. What will you do to find out? Okay? At siyempre, yun yung gagawin mo. So that you can investigate that certain, it is certain uh, research. And I have here an example, and we will show you one by one the different section of a problem statement or the statement of the problem. So that you will be guided kung paano mo gagawin yung statement of the problem mo sa yung research paper. So, uh, example, we have a title here, A Qualitative Study of the Psychological Impact of Cyberbullying on Young Students. So, I won't be explaining too much about the titles. Siyempre, alam niyo kung psychological impacts about the effect to the brain, you know, cyberbullying, to specifically to young students. And we have here, first is the context. So, if that is the title, we could say na ito yung context natin. The internet has made a huge change in communication today, undeniably. Our youth are addicted to using cell phones and other electronic communication devices. It is true that electronic-based communication has transformed our lives Greatly, but sadly, there are advantages to this technological innovation. According to recent research finding, cyberbullying is now prevalent to young students and that these victims of cyberbullying suffer tremendously, which lead them to undergo severe depression, leading to suicide. So, of course, that is the whole situation or the whole circumstance uh, that the researchers saw. Na naging reason that kaya the researcher thought that there should be a need to conduct an investigation about it. So, kung maaari, yung mga context natin should be, as I was saying, kinakailangan, the main context, yun yung sasali natin sa problem statement. It could be locally. So, 
you could actually relate it yung kung saan mo kukunin yung samples mo, yung context surrounding those samples or surrounding those respondents. Okay? And then, we have the next course is the problem. So, we are on the second section kung paano gumawa ng problem statement. So, the problem. So, an example. You could state it like this. The main problem of this study is to describe the psychological impact brought by cyberbullying through investigating the problems faced by the victims and their view to the criticisms of the cyberbullies against them. So, as you can see, meron tayong yung starter natin, ilalagay natin, the main problem of this study. Okay. This is actually the main problem. Uh, you could actually relate it to the research question if you're going to study the research question. So, you could, you need, dapat gumawa ka ng pinaka main problem out of all those research questions. Okay? And we have here uh, some starters that I could suggest to you. Pwede sabihin mo, pinakuna the focus of the study and then you put what is the focus of your study or the primary purpose of the study or pamamahadid ni the problem is investigated in this research concerns about, okay? So you can use those starters. And after that one, we are done with two of the sections of how to create the statement of the problem. So let us proceed to the significance. So the significance, dapat kasi yung statement of the problem should be more of a very clear statement kasi dapat na emphasize natin yung mismong research problem. So as much as possible, the other section kinakailang hindi siya masyadong mahaba. So let us see an example for the significance. So, through understanding the struggles faced by the victims, the researchers hope to contribute in the development of effective and lifelong solutions that authorities can formulate to address this widespread global problem. Okay, yun yung significance. So, if you also have a certain section ng research paper nyo, which is about significance of the study, kumuha po kayo doon ng pinaka-significant contribution ng ating mga results. Okay, significant contribution na magagawa ng ating research. Okay, so that is about how you create a significance. So, I hope na malinaw sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng significance in terms of uh, being a part of the statement of the problem. And lastly, we have, of course, the objectives or research questions. So, kung maaari siyang research question, maaari din siyang objectives. And, at maaari ding dalawa. It could be the research questions and we also have objectives. Okay? So we have here, ganito natin sasabihin, you could follow this format, you can create your own, but para lang meron tayong basis. Okay, so specifically, this hope that this research will provide answers to the following research questions. Ganun lang. And then you are going to write the different research questions in connection sa kung ano ang research topic. Okay? And out of this, uh, because research questions actually are considered the heart of the research paper or the search itself. So, ito yung dapat natin kung maaari, bigyan natin pansin kung paano natin ginagawa yung ating research questions. Okay, so, ito mga question. How does cyberbullying impact an individual's psychological well-being? How do victims of cyberbullying view the criticisms of cyberbullies? What resources of cyberbullied individuals utilize in order to cope with the stress brought by cyberbullying? And so, we have the last part or the last section in creating the statement of the problem. So let us see here in the final result ng ginawa natin which is about the statement of the problem. So pag dudugtong-dugtongin natin yung sila. So, okay. So we have here uh, the first part of the statement of the problem which was about the context. Yung, itong, color, itong color blue. And then we have the Red one is about the problem or the issue. And we have the violet. This is about the significance. And lastly, we have the research questions. So, kung maabasahin siya, the internet has made a huge change in communication today. And deniably, our youth are addicted to using cell phones. So, let's keep that one. Let us proceed to this sentence here. According to a recent research finding, Cyberbullying is now prevalent to young students and that these victims of cyberbullying suffer tremendously which lead them to undergo severe depression leading to suicide. The main problem of the study is to describe the psychological impact 
brought by cyberbullying through investigating the problems faced by the victims and their view to the criticisms of cyberbullies against them. So that's it. So kung makikita nyo, maayos naman po yung pag pagkakagawa or yung tinatawag natin yung connection per sentences yung, yung coherence so lastly I have here a tip for everyone bago natin simulan yung pagkagawa natin ng statement of the problem the tip the research question is the heart of the research so to effectively write the statement of the problem make sure to fully understand it Okay, so that would be all. And thank you very much for again visiting this channel. Sana meron naman kayong bagong natutunan. And that would be all. This is Professor Haggard and good day.